What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. It is time to continue our adventure. Uh, so we're going to go to Rock Tunnel this episode. We got to take the weird route around through this house. I guess we could use Cut and take that route, but that's still a weird route around. I mean, no matter how you slice or dice it, you're taking a weird route. Alright, chop the tree down. I already battled this girl. Alright, so we got... Okay, that's not really a drop down. It's a hop down, but... I mean, no way you slice it, you're fighting this guy if you want this item. Super Potion, probably in all actuality not worth it, but... We gotta fight this guy so we can get some money. Wahaha! Great, I was bored, eh? We've got a Canadian hiker. Hiker Jeremy. He's got an onyx. <clears throat> Pikachu v onyx. 22 onyx, not bad. Let's see if the double kit can one shot. Nope. Super effective, but it didn't matter. Rock throw, that's going to hurt. Okay, or not. That did, like, zero damage. That was really weird. That did, like, less than one damage, it felt like. My bar didn't even move. 296. Hiker Jeremy. Keep it coming, eh? Oh, wait. I'm out of Pokemon. 880 bucks. Three Pokeballs. Not bad at all. I have to keep looking down at this ball. I it like it just is habit. That I spin the ball, or I'll just do this with the ball, and so then it's not. It's no longer straight. Okay, but well that's enough of that. Let's continue. So we've got. What does this say? Route nine. Cerulean City to Rock Tunnel. Ooh, there we go. We've got new Pokemon. Let's fight the bug. Oh my gosh, we got a Fero. Nice. So now I don't have to evolve a Spearow. Fero, get back on to the middle of the screen. Fero, what are you doing? It's like target practice. I'll take a nice. That's good enough. And nope. Okay. Fly back to the middle, and noodle arm throw. What the? I'm, like, putting a lot on these, and they're, like, dead arm throws. Like, they're not even making it to him. Like, look at that. They're not even making it there. What if I just don't throw the ball, and I just, like, chuck this thing? They're not even getting to him. This is really dumb. There we go. I finally threw one far enough, but it didn't. You gotta, like, chuck this thing. That's insane. I had to, like, literally, like, cock my arm back and chuck it. 232 XP, three candies. That's actually not bad experience for, like, a non-chain. Fero's data added to the decks. A Pokemon that dates back many years, if it senses danger, it flies high high and away instantly. Tucked old Fero away in the box. Alright. Nidoran. Or Nidorino. I'm just looking for nice and great throws when I'm using this. I, I exclusively want excellent throws when I'm handheld because it's so easy, but on this, it's kind of hard to time. Like, right there, I was going for an excellent, and I was just, like, a hair late. There we go. There's the excellent. Just, it's, it's, it's a little bit delayed. Like, when my, when the ball is hitting, like, its peak, like, when it's this extended out, that's when the ball actually throws in-game. Growlithe to 26. We're getting low, we're getting close to Charizard and Blastoise. 
That will be nice. Its horn contains venom. If it stabs an enemy with the horn, the impact makes the poison leak out. Alright, so now we've got the little... We've got the neater and male and female. Here's the neater and female. Almost had the excellent throw right there. Almost. Just a little bit off. I didn't catch. I feel like my catch percentage with this is much lo What was that? The, the noodle throw. I just feel like my rate of catch is way lower with this. Even for, like, good throws and excellent throws, I feel like they break out when I use this thing more than when I'm just, like, handheld playing. A mild-mannered Pokemon that does not like to fight. Beware, its small horn secretes venom. Tucked away into the Pokebox. Um, that might be all the Pokemon. There's Nidoran male, obviously, but yeah, we'll continue. I'm sure there's more grass on this route. I'm going to have a large chunk of the decks actually completed by the time we... Let's, oh, this is a weird route. Kind of... Hmm, hold on. This is a really strange route. It kind of has, like, its own... has its own, like, twists and turns. It's hard to explore this. He talked to... He said something about Rock Tunnel and Lavender Town. Camper Drew... Ooh, Sandrew. We're starting to get counters for Pikachu. I might have to switch them out for Mew. If we get too many of those counters, I'll probably just go to Mew. Sand attack. Double kick again. Sandshrew's out of here. Ooh, Chansey got to level 32. I'm waiting for the time where Chansey's actually going to not be on the team anymore. I mean, at a certain point, I'm going to get Bulbasaur for free, probably, and that's when Chansey will get exiled out of the group. Because I'd much ra I, I would rather have the Grass Pokemon. The difficulty of this game is not that high, so I don't necessarily think I need the Chansey healing. I just don't think I need it. Alright, that should level up War Turtle. Yep, 31. Camp Drew. Uh, can't measure up. $420. Come on, Camp Drew. You gotta give me more money than that. Alright, so we got Super Potion. Five Pokeballs. That was the. I like don't. I I don't know. I don't want to fight the kid really because they give you like no money. I don't even know if he's a trainer. Is he even a trainer? Yeah, he is. Who are you? That's a nice Pokemon you're walking with. Dun, 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 dun. Just have one po. Ah, youngster Chris. You got to make it difficult. Diglett, really? You have to make it really difficult by having ground type. Go for the double kick. Okay, just got one shot by... Wow, your Diglett is terrible. You just got one shot by... Wow. Wow. Firo. Well, good night, Firo. You're about to take a thunder shock to the dome. 
All right, Thunder Shock. Easy peasy. Three hundred eight. Beat youngster Chris out like a light. Four hundred. But okay, he gave more than the camper. got hey buddy i think you have money so i want to fight you aren't ha 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 aren't you a little toughy black belt bryce manky what level is a manky 23 or 4 probably uh 23 thunderbolt's probably enough Nice and easy. Now, how much money are you going to send our way, Black Belt Bryce? What's that? S uh, 644? Come on, man. You're a Black Belt. That's all the money you got? Alright, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom here. And I'm going to fight the camper and see what's all the way down here. Th I guess there's nothing down here at the bottom. It's just a dead end. Better reward me with at least a little cash from the camp or from the hiker, hiker Allen. Geo, oh, he's got three Pokemon. You better pay like you got three Pokemon. <laughs> They're all gonna be ground types, probably. What do we got next on the docket? G another Geodude. Okay. Good old Geodude. Hit him with the double kick. There's two Geodude. You got a third Geodude? Have a Graveler at least. Have some pride. Have, some have a Graveler. Nope, you got another Geodude. What, what, three Geodudes? What is the point of that? I, oh my gosh. Just give him one Geodude and one Graveler and make the Graveler higher leveled. Is this not even going to one shot? Okay, good. I thought I was going to leave him alive with like minimal amount of dollars, or minimal amount of dollars health left. Hiker Allen B. Ha ha ha, you beat me fair. 8 880? That's all you give me, Allen? I thought because you were out of my way, you'd give me a little bit extra cash. Five pineapple berries. All right, now we gotta go all the way back around. No, oh, I didn't fight her before. Okay. Don't you don't you dare patronize me. <laughs> Picnic or Caitlin? Gold ha oh, ho oh, ho oh, Goldine, okay. You're about to get smoked. Thunder shock. The one-shots are still very, very, very much real. Caitlin is about to send out Pidgeotto. Here comes another one-shot. Let's do the special move. Why not? Pika, Pika, pow, pow. Get absolutely wrecked, Pidgeotto. <laughs> I can't believe I wasted that on a Pidgeotto. Uh, Picnic or Caitlyn defeated? No, you're too much. 420 bucks, that's it, really. Y'all pay terribly. Oh, I almost jumped down there. Definitely don't want to jump down there. Route 10. Oh my gosh, I'm a I caught the Nidorino. 
Here's where you come when you get surfed to get Zapdos. I know that. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think I caught Nidorina. This is a Pokemon that I'm considering one of... Wow, it actually went where I threw it there. I was used to it cutting back. Really? Really? I'm really used to... Uh, uh, when I would throw it this way, it would go that way. Um... But I'm not sure if I want a Nido King or Nido Queen, uh, shiny. But they're they're definitely on the docket as well right now for potential shinies that I would choose. <laughs> Come on, Mew, learn Psychic or something. Psy Wave, okay. So I'm gonna get rid of Swift. Mew's actually probably viable now. I could probably use Mew. It's got Thunderbolt, it's got Scold, it's got Psy Wave. I, I think it's probably viable to use Mew now. When resting deep in its burrow, its barbs always retract. This is proof that it is relaxed. <laughs> I could start chaining them right now. Okay, so here's Team Rocket Grunt. Well, hey, you're the kid that's been getting in our way all the time. It's because of you that Team Rocket's reputation was totally smashed. We'll never be able to face the boss at this race, which means we'll have to take our revenge on you. Are you gonna, what are you going to do, beat me up? Hold it. Ganging up on a child? I absolutely can't forgive that. Who are you, lady? We'll gang up up. We'll gang up up. We'll gang up and take you on too. I'll handle these three. Could you take the other one for me? <laughs> yeah, of course. Good answer now. Then let's go. Alright, buddy. You're going to get one shot into the next dimension. <laughs> Challenged by Team Rocket Grunt. Oh, this is cute. You got to eradicate. Just one eradicate. Better be like level 40. I think even if it was level 40, this dude would not beat me. Oh, I accidentally used Thundershock. Please one-shot it. I wanted to use Thunder for the fun. Oh, of course it didn't one-shot it. I wanted to Thunder for the fun of it, but then I hit this stupid down thing too many times. Fine, right, we'll double kick you the rest of the way. Super effective. 308, not bad. Or 318, not bad. What if a boss hears about this? 606, come on, you're Team Rocket. You, you guys want to have more money in 616? Jeez, kid, just how strong are you? Even, even three of us rushing you wasn't enough. Those incredibly powerful ice-type po Pokemon, who are you? I am Lorelei. Lorelei of the Pokemon's Elite Four. Shall I freeze you all solid too? Elite four, we surrender. You're a pretty talented trainer. It was plain to see during your battle. I see, so you're collecting gym badges. I look forward to when you come to challenge the Pokemon League. Until then, see ya. You will be the easiest Elite Four member because I have two fire type Pokemon. So, you will by far be the easiest one that I f will face. Um, you can skip all these. What? I think you can just skip the trainer by walking all. Yeah, you just walk all the way over here. I want to fight. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna skip the that. Yeah, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. We'll fight him. What's What's the point of skipping him? Saves me like a minute. That route took a lot longer than I thought. I probably could have done it in the last episode, and then we could have got here. But I don't act like I don't remember enough stuff in this game to actually be that prepared. All right, let's dance, Eevee. I'm going to hit you with a thunder. I wanted to thunder the last, that Raticate. Such a, such an awesome attack. I can't wait to get flame, um, what, fire blast. 
and Blizzard. I can't wait to see those animations because it looked like they kind of went all out for the good animation. Like the the high power ones are like Moon Blast. There's some cool attacks that I that I'm looking forward to seeing. <laughs> Goodbye, Psyduck. I wonder how much money I have now. I'll defeat the coach up at the top and then I'll figure out. 440 bucks, two great balls. I'm gonna grab this real quick, grab the item. Three great balls, okay. The rock tunnel is a tough place. Why don't you train here before you go? I'll train you every step of the way if you want. Yeah, let's battle. Okay, kiddo, I'll give you a workout. You probably have one Pokemon that's like level 27. Coach Trainer Tasha. Oh, you have two Pokemon. You have a Poliwhirl. Well, that's not what you want. You're about to get one shot. I'm going to use Thunderbolt to be safe. I'm sure Thundershock is enough to one shot the Poliwhirl, but I know Thunderbolt 100% is strong enough. Please tell me you have another water type. Primeape. This is a this is the prime candidate for a thunder. Prime candidate. Level 26 primate. And it's still one. Okay, it was a one shot. Nice. We continue the one shots. 413. That's good experience. No one leveled up though. Way to go, youngster. 2600 bucks. Thank you. Turns out you taught me a thing or two. Here, take this for the lesson. Brick break. Okay. TM Teach 13, or 13 can teach your Pokemon Brick Break. This move can break through an opponent's light screen or reflect. I mean, that's like okay for competitive, but that's like terrible for like regular playthrough. How often do you get a light screen put up on you? Cool, we got 20 grand. We're actually, we actually got some money now. Beautiful. Okay, so. Yes, I want to use my special technique. Pikachu use light up. You started seeing your surroundings. So we have a Machop. Okay. Found a Repel. I'm going to use a lure, I think, in here. I, I have some money now. So I'm going to use a lure to see if we can, if there are any rare Pokemon in here we might possibly find. And then I want to switch out to Mew. I think Mew is probably the best for this cave. So we'll swap Mew and Pikachu. I'm sure we'll find plenty of Machop, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that one yet. I'm not going to catch a Machop yet. Pokemon fight. Ready? Go. Pokemaniac Ashton. I miss when they the Pokemaniacs were in like those dinosaur suits. Those were the much cooler Pokemaniacs. Well, let's hit Slowpoke with a little Thunderbolt. Super effective. Hundred forty four XP. Game over. Yeah, thank you. Eleven hundred bucks. That's what I'm looking for, Ashton. You the man. Okay, so I've seen one new Pokemon in Machop. That's it. Hoping we get a little bit more. Some something. Give me something. There we go. We got a Golbat. We got a Rhyhorn. Nice. New Pokemon. <laughs> we'll obviously catch a Machop too, but I'm looking for the newer, like, I don't know. Machop seems like a common Pokemon. And I noodle armed through that one. Another terrible throw. Aye, aye, aye. 
There we go. Caught it anyway. Rhyhorn caught. Rhyhorn's data added a Pokemon with a one-track mind. Once it charges, it won't stop running until it falls asleep. Alright, Golbat now. I don't think... You can't get Crobat in this game, I don't believe. Really? Really, Golbat? You're gonna do me like that? Hey, you're gonna do me like that? Stop moving back and forth. Yeah, I outsmarted you. You stopped in the middle to attack, and I'll just throw the Pokeball then. And and you outsmarted me by getting out of the Pokeball. Two. And nope. Ah, oh, just a little bit left of the excellent. Just a shade off. And it's out again. I want to get Ultra Balls so bad. Just so I can stop really worrying about Pokemon getting out. How is that not a nice throw, at least? Oh my gosh, Golbat. I'm about to feed it a candy. Let's feed it a candy. It might run away. Or not a candy, a berry. Okay, well, that worked. Sometimes when I have struggles catching, it really makes me want to whip out. The, just take it into handheld, click A, boom, caught it. So easy in handheld. Golbat added to the Pokedex. It attacks in a stealthy manner. Without warning, its sharp fangs are used to bite and to suck blood. Golbat put away in the box. Uh, we do not have a, do we, I don't think we have a Cubone yet. I would like to get a, I think that might be a Pokemon that we, uh, we go for a shiny, it's a shiny Cubone to Marowak. I do like Marowak. It's very close. It's like a, it's a very gentle throw that you're looking for. So there's Marowak caught, or not Marowak, Cubone. Where's the skulls of its deceased mother? It cries, its cries echo inside the skull and come out as a sad melody. All right, Machop, guess it's time to finally catch you. I'll take the nice throw. Oh, I threw it too early. I like... I was expecting like the normal attack pattern, so like when they finish their attack, usually they draw back and that's when the circle reappears, but he kind of was a longer circle. Or he was kind of a longer animation before his circle re-popped. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Machop caught. That might be all the new Pokemon in this area. War Turtle to 32. Very powerful in spite of its small size. Its mastery of many types of martial arts masks it's very tough. Or makes it very tough. Masks makes. If I learned how to read. Another Pokemaniac. <laughs> I draw pictures of Pokemon when I'm at home. Pokemaniac Winston. Now every time I hear Winston, I think of that stupid meme. And I think of Overwatch. I probably think Overwatch anyway, so I just think of the meme. 
I guess I'm gonna do Scold. How is Kangaskhan faster than my Mew? What is this? Or is Fake Out does Fake Out get priority? Fake Out might get priority. I didn't think Fake Out got priority, but I guess it does. Oh look, you got burned. I know Scold will finish it, so I'm just gonna Scald. Ooh, that's some nice experience. <laughs> Whew, I'm tired. 1104. Both of the Maniacs gave me 1104, so that's good. Let me use another lure. <laughs> this will probably be the last lure I use, but... I do want to make sure and see. Maybe there's one more rare... There's probably one more rare Pokemon in here. All right, ha ha ha, can you beat my power? Probably, probably. You probably are just as sad as the last fight, or Black Belt that I fought. Black Belt Dudley, you just have an Onyx. <laughs> well, Onyx, you're getting a Scold. Should be the clean one-shot. Three hundred twenty-three. Oops, out muscled. Six seventy-two. Okay, you were a little bit better than the last black belt I fought, but still not a great, not a great amount of money. Golbat, you take up like the entire hallway here. What? That didn't. Uh, that was a gold bet. Okay, I'm gonna stop using my lures. Three great balls. Come on, I just wanna... Okay, so we got two trainers. I'm gonna go up here and peek real quick what's up top here. Okay, so we got one trainer. We got a Graveler, so there's a new Pokemon. Alright, let's fight the Graveler real quick. I think I just fought them a chop by accident. Grabbler. Just got to get back to finessing the throws. Get back to the easy finesse throws. Graveler caught. Another brand new Pokemon. 34, 35, 33. We're getting real close to Charizard and Blastoise. Super excited. Ooh, Charmeleon wants to learn Fire Spin. Yes, you can definitely get rid of Fury Swipes. <laughs> Charmeleon forgot Fury Swipes and learned Fire Spin. Pokedex Entry. Often seen rolling down mountain trails. Obstacles are just things to roll straight over, not avoid. We got an Onyx. Okay, so we have more trainers up here. Let's go back down and fight the two trainers down here. I mean, it's one of those things, like, I don't really need to... You know what? We're not going to fight them. I'm going to skip them. We'll fight... Oh, you actually see. I will fight you. <laughs> this tunnel goes a long way, kid. I'm starting to get that impression. Did I make the wise choice? We want to find Camper Lenny has one Pokemon. Nice. That's what we want. And he has a Growlithe. I can send out my shiny Growlithe. Scold. Super effective. Easy peasy. 154, that's kind of garbage. Camper Lenny, duh, you win. 440, wow, 
campers. The campers give you literally no money. They're like the most useless opponents to fight. And, like, I understand, like, money's not everything in this game, but it certainly is super important for shiny hunting when you don't have a lot of money. Like, so I don't have a bunch of money and don't have a bunch of supplies. I think what I want to do before I shiny hunt again is get to the point where you can buy Ultra Balls, because then it makes it so much easier. Hiker Klaus. I'm a chop. Alright, we're going to try out Psy Beam, or Psy Wave, let's see. I have no idea how much damage this thing is going to do. Not very much. Guess I'll use Thunderbolt, let's use Thunderbolt. Alright, finished it off. Two hits aren't terrible. Your aim for the one shots, but you know, if you two shot everything, that's not bad either. Klaus is about to send out Rhyhorn. There's some Gen 1 Pokemon that I don't like all that much, but uh, there are a lot that I really do like that I'll be shiny hunting. Like Rhyhorn's one of those. I really like Rhyhorn and Rhydon. Alright, I give. 920. Alright, not bad, not bad, Hiker Klaus. You paid me a fair amount. Okay, so there's this lady. I saw her before. She just looks like she's high class. She's going to pay me. She's going to give me some actual money. These guys give you some actual good money, so I'm, I'm not that concerned. He said I had a Pokédex. <laughs> Pokemaniac Cooper. Ooh, an Ivysaur. I don't really have anything to deal with you on Mew. So I'm gonna I'm gonna Thunderbolt. I know this is not very effective. Actually it might just be Yeah, not very effective. Then I'm gonna hit you with some paydays. We're gonna get some extra money out of this. Okay, so we'll get two paydays out. That's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to hit it with two paydays. Payday actually will be a viable asset to hit stuff with payday, get excellent draw money. Ivysaur is out of here. 325 XP. Shoot, I am so jealous. 1104 and then 340 off the ground. Nice. That's really nice. Let's grab the item. Full heal. Alright, now we can fight the girl who looks like she's going to absolutely destroy us. Do you know how you can avoid getting lost in the mountains? You can bend twigs as trail markers. You can do that, or you can just remember where you're going. Ace Trainer Sophia. I expect as an Ace Trainer you're going to pay me some actual dollars here. Like 2000 I want some cash. Scold. Beautiful. I can't wait to get on... Um, Let's go Eevee and get a shiny bull pick. So that's going to be one of like the first things I do. Kadabra. Interesting. Alright, I'm going to try to maximize my payday off of you. So we're going to payday. Double payday. One more payday. Bam. Three forty nine. Ace Trainer Sophia. 
You're stronger than I thought. 2,500 bucks. That's what I'm talking about. Picked up 340 off the ground. Five Ultra Balls. Thank you, Ace Trainer Sophia. You are the best. Literally. Oh, we've got another Ace Trainer. Definitely got to fight him. Let's grab this item first. Ooh, found a bag of Stardust. That's more cash. Even on a mountain like this, an Ace Trainer like me exists. There's another Ace Trainer just, like, five feet away from you, bro. Ace Trainer Charlie. He's got a diglet. <laughs> Hit you with a scold. I kind of want to try to beat an Elite Four member only using Payday and see how much money you get out of it. Because they usually have six Pokemon, so I wonder if you beat six Pokemon only using Payday... How much your payday would be from an Elite Four member. Flareon. Well, you're going to get hit with a Scald Flareon. I will probably chain multiple shiny Eevees. Because I do love Flare Flareon, Vaporeon, and, and uh, Jolteon. So I'll probably try to get a shiny of all of them. Alright, payday time. Gotta get that extra money. Oh, I didn't even finish it. Oh, no. It might be time to take... Yeah, it's gonna be time to use another Pokemon that's not Mew. There's the finish. Got the double payday, so it should be worth about 340 bucks. Ooh, that was some nice XP. Ace Trainer Charlie. Ugh, my pride is an Ace Trainer. $2,500. Five more Ultra Balls. Oh my gosh. It's fire. I think it's time. Let's put Growlithe back out there. Eh, let's put Pikachu back out there. Put Pika. Growlithe is like a little too low level. After fighting the Ace Trainers, bro, you are like the last thing I want to fight. You pay like $0. Keep turning. He literally just feels useless at this point. I just battled and got like $5,800 from those two. And, and oh gosh, I ran into Golbat. The Golbat might actually save me from having to battle him. Because he's going to pay me like $580. And it's like, whatever, that doesn't matter to me. Like, doesn't help me at all. What is this dude looking at? Heh, I see you have plenty of Pokeballs. If you ever run low, come talk to me, okay? Uh, I guess I guess I touched this Machop. And like these, the campers are the worst. These campers are absolutely 100... Oh, gosh! I want this item. Super Potion. Okay, I weaseled my way past them. What got here? Bag of Stardust. <laughs> Growlithe is surveying the vicinity. Well, it looks like this is a trainer I have to fight. That's all right. I wanna, I wanna say we're close, we're close, but uh, but uh, but I'm not sure. Picnic or Dana? You just had to have two Pokemon. <laughs> Meow. Hit the Thunderbolt. Really? I got flinched. I swear if I flinch again. Okay. There we go. 127. Vulpix. I like how they throw in all these version exclusive to the other version and just to tease you like, oh, maybe I can get my own Vulpix. Nope, you can't. Not in Let's Go Pikachu. <laughs> all right. 131. Picnic or Dana. 
I'm out of Pokemon. Oh, yay. Four, four, $440. Woohoo. So trash. Oh, Kangaskhan. Oh, Kangaskhan. What's all the way over here? Let me grab this item. No, Onyx, get out of here. That Kangaskhan is gigantic. I want the item and then we'll catch Kangaskhan. I was going to say, to Kangaskhan, really? That would be a fun thing to chain and get shiny as a Kangaskhan. Since I only saw one the whole time I went through here, I'm going to say that's very, very rare, but... Okay, we're going to try one Great Ball, and of course. Try one Great Ball, and then I'm going to throw an Ultra, I think. Oh, but we don't even need the ultra. Let's go. First attempt to catch on the Kangaskhan. Everybody's ranking up nicely. Growlithe wants to learn Crunch. I think that's a, a move worth learning. Get rid of Helping Hand. One, two, three, and ta-da. Growlithe forgot Helping Hand and learned Crunch. Chansey the 34. Raises its young in its belly pouch. Won't run from any fight to keep its young protected. Oh yeah, I guess Kangaskhan can't ever run. So you might as well just capture it with a regular Pokeball. Alright, we are out here on Route 10. And so I think this is a good place to call it an episode. And in the next one, we will go ahead and head south towards Lavender Town. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.